Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on integration one and its applications. And today's lesson shall talk about definite integrals in calculus. So definite integral is an integral with limits. I think you can see these are called limits. This is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. Therefore, if integrating fx with respect to x gives capital fx plus c, which is where c is the constant of integration, it implies that integrating fx from a to b with respect to x will be equal to this capital fx by this time when you have substituted the limits. So you start with the upper limit b, where there is x substitute b, you come up with fb plus c minus, now substitute the lower limit. Where there is x, you put the lower limit, which is a, and you get fa plus c. If you simplify, you realize that the constant of integration cancels to give you fb minus fa. What does that mean? It means that whenever you are integrating and the limits are given, the constant of integration can be ignored. And therefore, you shall write it in this way, in this way that integral from a to b of fx with respect to x will be equal to fx with these box brackets now we no longer put this integral symbol we put box brackets and this limit will be put here down the upper limit will also be put here up now to remove this box bracket with these limits you have to substitute so substitute for a for x by putting there b to get fb minus substitute for the lower limit which is a to get f a so now we shall try for the solution to this problem one so problem one says that evaluate the following integrals roman one integrate three x squared with respect to x from one to two Roman 2 says integrate 8x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 5 with respect to x from negative 1 to 1. And Roman 3 says integrate x squared plus 1 divided by x square root of x with respect to x from, from 1 to 4. So we shall start with the solution for Roman 1. Roman 1, we are given this, and we have to integrate it first. So, integrating this, say you, we follow the same rule increase the power by 1 divided by the new power, and this time now we put box brackets like we said earlier. So, this limit goes here, and this one goes there. When you simplify this, this 3 cancels with this 3 down, so it will remain with only x cubed. So, this x cubed will be here from 1 to 2. Now to remove these ones, it means you substitute. Now substitute for x, where there is x, you first put there the upper limit, which is 2, to get 2 cubed minus. Now where there is x, put the lower limit, which is 1, to get 1 cubed. Now 2 cubed is equal to 8, and 1 cubed is equal to 1. So 8 minus 1 gives 7, and that will be the answer to Roman 1. So now Roman 2, they said you integrate 8x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 5 with respect to x from negative 1 to 1. The first thing is to put x power 0 on this constant, which is that. Other that, we use the same rule for integration. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power for all the terms. Don't forget the box brackets and the limits. So lower limit is put here, upper limit is put there. Next is to simplify what is inside this box bracket to come up with 2x power 4 minus 5x cubed over 3 plus x squared minus 5x. Then next we shall now substitute. First substitute the upper limit where there is x put there the upper limit to give you this bracket and where there is minus where there is x put there the lower limit to give you this bracket. So now that we have got this bracket, 
next is to simplify further so this bracket can be simplified further using the calculator to come up with this and this can be simplified further using calculator to give you that then when you simplify more you come up with this bracket as negative 11 over 3 and this bracket as as 29 over 3 so in the end you'll come up with negative 40 over 3 which can be reduced to become negative 13 and a third so this will be the result for the integral in Roman 2. Now Roman 3, we are given this expression. The first thing to do is to change it in form of a polynomial, then you can integrate. So now this square root of x is the same as x power half, which will give you this expression. Now from here to here, it means you split the numerator. Splitting means this divided by that plus this divided by this, which is this expression. Now from here, we use the rules of indices, whereby dividing same base, you subtract the powers. So for this, for this part, we shall come and, and say x power 2 minus half, 2 minus half. So when you are dividing two indices, you subtract the powers, with the, as long as the base is the same. Then for this one, it's the rule of negative indices to come up with x power and negative a half. When it was done, it was positive a half. So when it goes up, it becomes negative a half. So when I simplify 2 minus a half, I'll get 3 over 2. So in the end, I'll come up with x power 3 over 2 plus x power negative 1 over 2. So now I've managed to simplify this and break it up in form of a polynomial. Therefore, I can now integrate. Therefore, integrating this is the same as integrating this polynomial. And the same rule applies. So, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. For this case, the power is 3 over 2. Come and increase it by 1. Then after that, you divide by the new power, which is 3 over 2 plus 1. Plus, the power is a half, negative a half. Increase it by 1, divide by the new power. When I simplify, 3 over 2 plus 1 will give me 5 over 2. And negative 1 over 2 plus 1 will give me 1 over 2. So the, the new power is now 5 over 2, which will be now the denominator here also. The new power here is 1 over 2, which will be also be the denominator there. So now here I can simplify further. Because this divided by this is the same as this times the reciprocal of this. So when I get the reciprocal of this, I'll come up with 2 over 5 x power 5 over 2. Do the same for this. This divided by this is the same as this times the reciprocal of a half. And the reciprocal of a half is 2. Therefore, we'll come up with 2x power a half. Don't forget the limits. After, doing, after simplifying, you will now substitute. Begin with the upper limit. Substitute where there is x, put there the upper limit, which is 4, to come up with this bracket. Then minus where there is x, put there the lower limit, which is 1, to come up with this bracket. When I use the calculator, this bracket will give me this, and this bracket will give me that. Simplifying further, I'll get 8 over 5, 84 over 5, minus 12 over 5. And then I'll come up with... 72 over 5, which can be reduced further to 14 and 2 over 5. Now we shall go to problem 2. Problem 2 says that if the integral of x plus p with respect to x from 1 to 2 is equal to 3, find the value of p. So first of all, we know that this integral is equal to 3. Next, we'll be integrating. When I integrate x, I'll get x squared over 2. When I integrate p, p is a constant, I'll get px. And from there, I'll now substitute my limits. They have, start with the upper limit, where there is x, put there the value of the upper limit to get this bracket. Then minus, where there is x, put there the value of the lower limit to get this bracket. Remember, it's equal to 3, so you are there, you're free. Now from there, you simplify this bracket to give me this. And when you simplify this bracket, to give me that equal to 3. And when I simplify further, I'll come up with this. Now I want to make AP the subject. 
so in the end i'll come up with my p as 1.5 so that's the value of p which was required it's now your turn to try out the following problems So you compare your answer with that. Compare your answer with that. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.